All right, taking the stage right now, ladies and gentlemen, it will be Brady with P. Hi Sparkles, it's Jordan Sparks. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to Brady Farrar's unaired solo PTSD from Dance Moms Season 8. So if you're interested in that, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up. But before we hop into today's video, if you're brand new here, welcome. My name is Jordan Sparks. If you'd like to join the constellation, make sure to tap that juicy red subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you never miss another video. And let's hop right into this. So I'm not sure why they didn't air this solo. Like I said, less drama, more dancing, but let's hop right into it. PTSD is a topic that's really close to me because it's something that I've struggled with for most of my life. And I hear that this solo is really personal to Brady because his dad is in the military. So he has some personal connection to this as well. So I'm interested to see what Abby did with this choreography and where Brady takes it. Being able to get into the character is going to be the most important thing for him to be able to prove that he can show emotion. And I'm nervous that Brady's going to be able to do it justice. He'll be fine. And to pull it off. But I also feel like it's not just about Brady, it's about our whole family, and that makes it even more emotional for me. If we were invincible, if we could never die, and all the world could rise against us. All right, so I'm going to stop right there. Right off the bat, very strong entrance. I could see that he was actually even working his feet, grounding into the floor before he even started to dance. He was working his arches, and so I'm like, okay, hello, ballet boy. So my first correction is I'd like him to let go of his head more and not look at the ground so much. And there's moments where I can tell that he wants to be soft and controlled, but it comes across as gentle. So to just have a more of an aggressive attack to his dancing. But overall, I can see amazing technique, amazing lines, great feet, great turnout. Great flexibility, chin up in those turns. I'd like to see more energy and engagement of his arms and hands. Not so loose. Great job so far. Ooh, see that was great. I love the energy and the attack in that leap. If he could just bring that same kind of attack to literally the entire solo, and this isn't a stamina issue. I just feel like if he could just be more aggressive, that's all I would like to see here. But overall, I feel like this choreography is very abrupt and he's doing a great job of bringing emotion and making it work. Good. Yeah, I can feel that he goes somewhere while he's dancing, and that's what I feel like. I feel like lots of people are comparing Brady to Maddie, and I think that the reason why is because you can see that they go to a different place, and they become someone else while they're dancing. It's not just Brady on that stage, it's like a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> And I think that that's the same kind of energy that people saw with Maddie Ziegler. I can see that Brady really transforms and goes to a different place while he's on stage. He really unlocks that potential of his emotion and brings that to his dancing. So that's a great, amazing quality of a dancer. 
I really felt something on stage, like I really thought of like my dad and his friends and all the things that happened in the army and that like fired my emotion really good. I love that he has great lines, great feet, great turnout. Just being more strong in the shoulder carriage, more aggressive, more attack to the dancing, and to make sure to keep your chin lifted in those turns, not looking up to the sky, but just make sure to not have your chin tucked down while you're turning because that builds some neck tension. But overall, I thought that that was great, amazing job, and I'm super excited that Abby has a boy on the team finally, and I'm excited to see where he goes. I'm excited to see what Abby can do with choreography for guys because we really haven't got to see very much of it. But I think that that is it for my critique of Brady's dancing and PTSD. I thought he did a great job, but let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And I think that that is it for this video. So before we go, I wanted to mention the sparkling star of today's video. And today's sparkling star is Susan Garcia. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, Susan. I love you so much. If you would like to be the sparkling star in my next video, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter at Jordan J Sparks and retweet my video links when they go live and I will pick a brand new sparkling star for every single video. But I think that that is it for this video. So as always, make sure to be weird, be wild and stay sparkly and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.